Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, Shoppers Swarm Mall of New Hampshire for Black Friday. Hundreds flocked to stores to take advantage of Black Friday deals. The National Retail Federation estimated that about 30 million Americans would be shopping Thursday and the Mall of New Hampshire was no different. New Hampshire residents enjoy warm weather on Black Friday. The Thanksgiving storm of 2014 was a furious one. It knocked out power for over 200,000 customers. And on Black Friday, temperatures hovered near 32 degrees. Much of that power was still out and almost... A foot of snow blanketed parts of New Hampshire. In contrast, this year's Black Friday is warm and sunny with temperatures reaching mid-50s to lower 60s around the state. Nashua Holiday Stroll adds extra security, closes roads downtown. Great American Downtown has announced it will be adding an additional 20 officers to patrol as more than 30,000 people are expected to participate in the 2015 Winter Holiday Stroll. Seacoast businesses take part in Plaid Friday. Black Friday is likely the biggest American shopping event of the year. Hundreds, huge crowds of deal-seeking shoppers line up early at big box stores to get their holiday shopping done early for exclusive prices. However, some shoppers turned their attention back to the local economy to participate in Plaid Friday. Ex-officer found dead in his home. A former Mills police officer indicated for for batting a story about a shoot it shootout with a mystery gunman in September in calling in a fake bomb threat to the high school has been found dead. Students identify New Hampshire's dumbest law. Students at Newport High, High, Middle High School have won a contest that challenged them to find New Hampshire's dumbest law. Rochester police arrest two on drug charges. Two people were arrested in Rochester on drug-related charges, according to authorities. Police said officers served a search warrant at a home on 
Academy Street at 8.45 p.m. Wednesday. Animal rights activists to hold demonstration near Fish and Game over Bobcats. Animal rights activists are targeting the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department, which is deciding whether to restore hunting and trapping season for bobcats. Families affected by 2014 Thanksgiving storm look back. A traditional Thanksgiving celebration is not complete without a turkey, cookie, pies ready to be eaten in family gathered in the house. But last year's storm left many people without power and stuck up Gravy Creek without a ladle. Mm. Rochester Church provides community meals for Thanksgiving. For years, the True Memorial Baptist Church in Rochester has been serving Thanksgiving meals with all the trimmings to those in need. Colorado Springs gunman in custody after shooting at Planned Parenthood. The gunman who shot 11 people, including five police officers, has been taken into custody according to Colorado Springs Police Department. The active shooter situation at Planned Parenthood building lasted for roughly five hours this afternoon. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.